Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. We'll be right back to the show. But before we do, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor Mills. Dot com, where if you go to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50, you can get 50% off your first order. That's factormills.com slash unbroken50. If you're like me and you are a person who is busy trying to create a life, heal, work on their health, wealth, and relationships, and not to mention deal with the day-to-days of normal life, you do not have time to be going to the grocery store and trying to figure out what you're going to cook every single day of the week. In fact, one time I did the math and I realized I was spending over 15 hours a week at the grocery store and cooking. When I added factor, I got to use that time for myself, for my family, for my friends, for my community, and for my business. And so if you're in the place where you need some more support in the kitchen, head to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50 to get 50% off. Jake Knapp is the inventor of the design sprint and the New York Times bestselling author of the book Sprint. He's also the co-founder of Character, a venture fund for early stage startups. How and why did you start using Miro? I came from this position of thinking, I don't want to be doing stuff online to thinking now when I do a sprint in person with a company, it's like, we're going to use Miro, even though we're all in the same room, because that's a better way for us to get this work done. As an investor, we're basically investing in their ability to solve problems. We're saying, we think this group of people is going to be able to solve a problem in a really great way and create value by doing it. And actually, you need to give people the tools that can help them make decisions, help them collaborate, help them visualize and see things in a different way. And Miro does all those things. So to me, at least as an investor, I'm thinking, give the team the tools that are going to help them think, that are going to make the most, brighten their their skills as smart folks. And Miro is at the top of that list. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show. But I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? Still running strong in the AMA. Um, I want to again preface this, and I will do all the videos the same. I'm not a therapist. If you need professional help, please seek it. Um, In the meantime, if you need other resources, check thinkunbroken.com slash resources. 
and there's all kind of stuff there that you can find. Um, I am just an author, speaker, mentor, and coach. Like I'm, I'm not a therapist. I can't diagnose you, and I can't give you prescriptions. So, like, keep that in mind. Take all of my advice with a grain of salt because it is only from my personal experience. So, thank you for your questions. I'm glad that you're reaching out. Um, I'll do my best to to keep it real with you. Uh, this question is really interesting to me, and it's a it's a really difficult question. So I'm gonna get super vulnerable here with you guys. Um, hope you don't mind. What are the first steps to leave an abusive relationship that is not physically dangerous? Um, I was in one for a very long time, a very, very long time. And we were just emotionally abusive to each other, like in the worst ways. We were so incredibly mean to each other, so demeaning to each other. Like we did and said the meanest things you could ever ever imagine ever we were fucking assholes to each other and we were never physically violent minus one time when she slapped me which in all of my life I don't think I've ever deserved to get hit except for that one moment and we had this crazy fucking fight she got in my face and we were screaming at each other about literally nothing like fast forward a decade I cannot even remember what we were arguing about and I was like, you should just go kill yourself. Like literally like straight up the meanest thing I've ever said to anyone. And she slapped me. And that was the moment I think we both knew it was done. We had to end it because it was whatever was next was going to end up with us in jail or dead. And so I'm going to speak a little bit from both sides of the perspective on this one. She, I got to say, made a huge decision by walking away first because I know, looking back on it in retrospect, that we were in a codependent relationship. Um, I could not exist without her and vice versa. And we tied our identity to each other. Everything that we did was with each other or for each other. And we didn't really have a separation of that. And when we did, um, things got stressful. They got, are you cheating on me? We're looking at each other's cell phones. We're sleeping with other people. We're cheating on each other. Like, like all of the worst things are starting to happen. And we would just like lie to each other. And it, it went both ways. So I want to be very clear, like neither of us are innocent in this. And, um, you know, I think about that and looking back and knowing what to look for in a codependent relationship. And if you don't, you know, there's a lot of signs that you may be in one. And, you know, if you have someone who's always checking in on you, checking your phone, like talking down to you, putting you down, trying to hold you down, keep you from being great. Like they're probably like doing that because of their own insecurities. And a lot of times that comes from being codependent where we rely so much on our integrity, our valor, all of our things and other people. And it just doesn't work that way. So, you know, be cautious about that. Look for the signs of being in codependent relationship because that also like kind of goes hand in hand with being in an abusive relationship and whether or not it's not physical right now doesn't mean that it might not be you know i gotta i want you to keep that in mind you know if you're in a relationship where someone's calling you stupid or worthless or they're they're, they're controlling your time where you're at they're texting you a thousand times a day um, you know, they won't do certain things without you. If you try to go hang out with friends, they'll follow you. They want to drop you off and pick you up. If like that shit's happening, you need to start getting away from that. You need to start making a game plan. So this is from my perspective. Like what are the first steps to leave an abusive relationship? I think the first thing is that you need to talk to your friends and your family and let them know that you are making a plan to get away. Um, you need security. You need safety. You need um, support, right? You, need, you may need to call the police. You may need to get with social services. You may have to get a restraining order. Um, you know, if I just look at, you know, abusive relationships aren't even necessarily like partner relationships. They can be parental relationships. You know, and for me, I had to get a restraining order against my mother and my stepfather because they were so abusive. And I was like a teenager when that happened. So you might have to go that route. You might have to go to the police station, get a restraining order on this person. And it may be simpler than that. I don't know because I don't know this particular scenario. But if you're in an abusive relationship and you know it's abusive and you know it's time for you to leave, you have to leave for your safety and maybe even for your life. 
And if you're in a relationship and you have children, maybe even for the life of those children. You know, I look back, my mother let the abuse happen to us from my stepfather when he would beat the shit out of us. And she could have stepped up and she could have done that, but she was in an abusive relationship with him on top of being a drug addict. So, you know, you have a lot of things that are pressing against you. And ultimately, and, and I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you, you have to become responsible for yourself. And so if you feel like you are unsafe, then you probably are. What you need to do is have a real conversation with your gut and say, hey, me, am I safe in this moment? And if I'm not, get the fuck out, seriously, because I don't want a message coming to me being like, oh, this person's dead because they didn't show up and get the fuck out. So talk to your friends, talk to your family. I guarantee you someone has a couch that you can live on. You know, I guarantee someone in your friends group wants you to be safe. Um, there's also women shelters. There are men shelters in some cities. So, like, let's not get it twisted, ladies and gentlemen. Like, there is still abuse on both sides, right? Um, men, and it's harder for men, too. And I realized this because I never had anyone to talk to about my relationship when I was in it this decade ago when we were fucking destroying each other's souls. And when I did, it, you know, like, it also got, like, turn the other cheek or like that's just how women are like that's just not how women are we created that like we did that we made that vortex we made that chaos together so you know go and find security um if you are in a situation where you're unsafe and you're not sure what to do i really think the best thing that you can do is just leave i mean even if it's in the middle of the night and you pack a bag and you hop in the car and you go to mom and dad's house or you go to your best friend's house or whatever just get out keep yourself safe first and foremost, because like I said, even though you're not necessarily in a physically dangerous situation right now, doesn't mean it won't end up being that way. You know, I, I know many friends who have been abused severely by their partners on both sides, male and female, and it always starts with verbal, and it always starts with, you know, little things like keeping ties on their time. Where are they? What are they doing? Texting them a hundred times, you know, in an hour, calling them nonstop. You know, showing up at their job. Yo, know, if your boyfriend or girlfriend is showing up at your job without your permission, you don't have a lunch date or your partner, whoever it is, that is a fucking red flag. And you need to bail on that situation as soon as possible. You know, it may be you have to change your number, block them on social media, like literally change the locks on the house, go move to the other side of the world, whatever it takes to be safe, because ultimately your security is priority number one. Um, so my thoughts, literally the first thing I would do is just try to identify the signs of am I in an abusive relationship? Um, and if you come to the determination that you are, you have to make some serious decisions um, that could save your life. So I hope that you do. And please find resources if you don't know. If you feel like you might be, you know, there is someone who can help you. Uh, Google is your best friend. Call police. Call the local Fire department, call somebody, right? Do not sit at home and let abuse happen because, you know, we, we have enough people who suffer it right now. So that'd be my suggestion. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show. But I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program.